details in a deadly police shooting in the East Bay. And more trouble for San Francisco's famously sinking Millennium Tower. ABC 7 News begins in 60 seconds. More sinking here at the Millennium Tower, and now part of the plan to fix the project has been put on hold. COVID-19 booster shots will be here in less than a month. Coming up, when you can expect to get in line. A scary sight as wildfire ash rains down on Lake Tahoe. Get ready to make a switch from a late fall field back to summer. Your temperatures and smoke forecast coming up. ABC 7 News at 11 starts right now. Building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. And we begin with several developing stories. Just moments ago, Fremont Police gave an update on a shooting involving a police officer. Police say officers responded to a report of a shooting just after 5.15 tonight at South Lake Mobile Home Park near Auto Mall Parkway in Fremont Boulevard. The victim was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. A short time later, police say officers found the suspect nearby with a gun. During the interaction between the person who matched the description of the shooter and the officer, the officer fired his service weapon at the suspect. The suspect died at the scene. Police say they're still interviewing officers and witnesses to get more details. Oakland police say a person shot by officers is in the hospital now in stable condition. This happened at the La Quinta Inn near the Oakland Coliseum. You can see the big police presence in this video from Sky 7. Police say the individual was wanted on a criminal warrant for manslaughter and two firearms were recovered at the scene. In the South Bay, more than 100 San Jose homes are still under evacuation orders tonight because of a gas leak. pg e says a third-party contract hit a natural gas line near Race Street and Eugene Avenue just before 10 a.m. The fire department says the situation later escalated and homes and businesses will be evacuated until at least 8 a.m. A shelter is set up at the Bascom Community Center. PG&E is continuing to vent the line. Repairs will begin tomorrow morning. Community members in Oakley are in shock tonight after a freight train slammed into a vehicle, killing a 12-year-old boy. A collision happened this afternoon at East Cypress Road and Main Street. ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry with reaction from the community. It's a somber